today because temperatures are trying to creep back in back up into those triple digits but the main focus actually for today is going to be the chance to see those storms possibly develop so let's take a look at our future track model and see around the three o'clock hour you can see those isolated storms trying to push into the region but really it's going to be around four o'clock that's when we're going to start to see those storm cells develop out near the east side of el paso west side of el paso now near white sands as well and really every hour in the afternoon we're going to see that potential to see those storms develop but as we into the evening nine o'clock keeping these storms out to our west according to our future track model and of course even into the overnight hours many of our weather models are indicating the overnight hours is when we're going to see widespread scattered isolated storms so when these storms do produce expect heavy rainfall at times and even producing some gusty winds so be wary of that if you're out driving on i-10 because the wind can definitely pick up some dust so four o'clock on monday you have that same repeat in the forecast where the storms try to really pop off but again those weather models holding on strong to those overnight hours when it comes to the widespread rainfall so you can see three o'clock in the morning on tuesday hatch radium springs las cruces a lot of yellows and some reds on the screen so of course these storms could even ca cause some flash flooding in certain areas and by Tuesday morning we're waking up to those partly cloudy skies with those lingering storm chances next seven days it looks like this storm chances are in the forecast for the next seven days and this is a good thing because our drought monitor has us in that moderate risk right now so we can put this in reverse now it's going to take a lot of time to uh, put this in reverse but of course we need all the rain we can get here in the borderland because we've been abnormally dry for the month of July but for today, temperature-wise, we'll be tracking 96 degrees for Mesilla, 91 in Oregon, 101 for Anthony. El Paso County is looking like this. 100 degrees for Fabens, 101 in Socorro, 99 in Fort Bliss. We are still tracking those mostly sunny skies, but of course those storms will, will pop up in the afternoon hours. But the next seven days looks like this. Temperatures will gradually be on the decline. We're tracking the mid-90s and 92 degrees by Saturday. 